Hi, I'm Daryl Goldenberg. I practice psychology in Santa Monica and in the Valley. A lot of times couples no longer have reliable contact time. They don't have date time. Well, I've got kids. I, I don't have any time to go out with him or her. Well, of course you do. You have to make that a priority. And if, if that isn't made a priority, then like anything else, if it's not given energy and time and imagination, it loses its meaning. Most of the men, once they're in the arena, once they've accepted that, okay, I'm going to do this, once they've broken through that sense of embarrassment or sometimes shame of disclosing this to this stranger, you know, then they start to get into it. And then they start to want to learn about themselves and, you know, the impact they're having on their wife or girlfriend. The women generally are initiating the issues. They're really talking about what's going on. Even though the men are participating, they don't really, they're, they're actually breathing a sigh of relief when they feel like, well, there hasn't been a fight this week, right? Or, you know, I haven't yelled at her, or, you know, she hasn't yelled at me, or, you know, we didn't get into an argument about money or sex or kids. Whereas the wife will say, yeah, that's true. You know, we didn't get into any of those issues but I still feel like there's a tension between us. Or I still don't think that we're very close. And so some of the nuances of what's actually going on, even though the crisis that they came in for has been settled, the nuances that affect the closeness and the intimacy are still problematic. In therapy, people will often talk about communication as being broken down into content and process. So these I'd call content issues. They matter to some measure, but what matters to me even more is how are they talking about these issues? Because everyone is going to have problems, but how do they address those issues with one another?